Howdy folks, and that's a bit low. Let's put that up there. Howdy folks, and welcome to Skip Barber Track Guide for this week, and we are at Hungara Ring. Nice little circuit. Suits us Skippy quite well. I uh, did enjoy practicing around here very, very much. So, let's get on with it. Rules, always check these out. There's only a few tracks that actually have them. This is the iRacing kind of newish. It came out last season um, about how off tracks work. So have a read of this, what you can and can't use. Very, very useful to know. Otherwise, info for you. Track temp is 75 Fahrenheit. Degrees will be above my head. And track usage is always at 45% for my track guides. I mean, it's right back smack in the middle. If it's higher, you've got more grip. If it's lower, you've got less grip. So everyone knows where we stand. Otherwise, the laps I'm going to show you is actually the only one that I set in a 201. It's a 201883. Now, there was a little bit of a mistake there as well on this uh, hairpin. I took the first, well, hairpin, chicane, sorry. I took the corner a little bit too far. Skippy stepped out of the rear end a little bit. So bear that in mind when you're doing it. Take a little bit slower, get a better exit. You should get a better time than me if you do that. Uh, otherwise, we're in the mid to low twos, I reckon, with good race pace. There's a few two deads and things like that in there. So, yeah not too bad really enjoyable circuit this thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it also above my head if you don't know already the discord will have the olap vlap telemetry replay file and also the setup that i use it's generally the same setup that i use for every single skippy race so yeah that'll be in there if you suit uh, if you wish to borrow it let's say as long as you give it back of course and uh also in the discord will be a schedule so that is uh, um, a, a google docs page of what track guys i've done in the past over the series that i have covered so if you are following the series you can go on there find track guys that i've done in the past and uh, it makes it all easier uh, the other thing above my head will be how i get into these sessions obviously this is pre-recorded so try and get them as accurate as i can i use the ui and go into test session and copy it from iRacing itself to try and get it as optimal as i can otherwise that's enough waffling let's crack on with the guide right then hungara ring and it's a great little circuit as mentioned for the skippy it's um yeah good long start finish straight so a bit of slipstream and a good overtaking opportunity into turn one and we're hunting the breaking point which is just before this white line that doesn't really need to signify anything doesn't there's no brake board there or anything anyway heavy on the brakes nice and consistent turn in first gear be careful of an off track if you hit that concrete stuff inside the red and white curb so be mindful of that and make sure you keep at least two tires on the red and white curb right here we can use that runoff but don't use too much coming down to turn two this cheeky little rascal easy to lock a front brake here just before the curbing starts you want to stand on the brakes and turn into the apex most of the cars you want to keep your braking in a straight line but this skippy seems to be slow enough and you want to avoid it this counter steering that i get so try and get nice and smooth around there when you see the pirelli yellow flags over there start accelerating you can use all the track on the right hand side but i prefer to open up this corner of turn three a little more i can make sure i take it flat out miss the curb unsettles the skippy and make sure you use all the runoff as much as you can coming up to the tricky turn four now and you want to kind of hit it at a straight line and it kind of kinks to the right so you want to hit this curb in a straight line the best you can you can i down into fourth at this point you can stay in fourth coming up the hill depending on your preference but changing the four for that corner anyway uh, be really easy on the steering through that corner really easy to oversteer and run wide blue and green barrier as it ends is our next breaking point for a very tricky turn five then you want a nice late apex but you want a nice sweeping curve all the way around to this late apex as best you can treat it as almost two corners the entry and the exit on that one and you should be golden good exit here when you get onto this curb now for the slowest point of the track so be mindful through here i did say i'll get a bit of oversteer through here but i just oversteer you see i have to turn too far left really from apex to apex i want to be a straight line so a little bit a little bit less speed into that to maximize the exit right about here the advertising board i believe it's rolex sponsor uh, you want to start turning in there and break as you turn into the apex try and get the rotation on the apex to stay far left the best you can because it really opens up this point of turn nine easy on the throttle around here you're just basically trying to minimize understeer and try not to use too much of the astroturf because again we've got to come back over to the other side of the track to really open up this turn 10 turn 10 is flat out and all i'm trying to do is minimize steering angle here but try and be on the left hand side of the track to minimize the run to the important turn 11 now this curb do not touch it it really unsettles the car sometimes it seems to it seems like the car's sticking to it really weird anyway dash of brakes slight lift off and be full throttle before the apex and it will run nice and smoothly out wide again don't use too much of that green curbing it is an off track 
This tricky little downhill braking zone, use the curb on entry brake, really nice and heavy, but don't lock a tire. Second gear, loads and loads of apex curve. We can kind of abuse that a little bit and we can abuse the exit as well. But again, just be mindful of the rule system, leave a tire on the red and white curbing. Marshall post on the right hand side. You want to brake just as we passed it, just as it disappears off our monitor. First gear around here for me, but you probably could get around here in second. Now I do get on throttle quite early because uh, I apex a little bit too early myself so i'm trying to push the car out wide and i change up into second that's why i thought you could take it in second gear it avoids that change mid corner makes life a lot easier last corner now i seem to turn in full throttle and then use a bit of braking slash the actual steering of the skippy to try and slow us down for this corner second gear sort of mid entrance if that makes any sense at all I didn't try third around there. I think it's too sluggish around there to come out the corner, but yeah, we're accelerating now. You can use a little bit of the Astro Turb on the left-hand side, and that is us across the line for a 201.883. Pretty slow lap considering how short the circuit is. It's only 4.4 kilometers, something like that, 2.7 miles. I'm reading off the iRacing thing right there. Um, yeah, two minute lap for that, but immensely, immensely fun very technical circuit good long start finish straight as well for a bit of slipstream i suspect it might be awkward to overtake here and the overtake will be down to turn one but i'm going to enjoy this week to be brutally honest i'm gonna to have to upload a video for you guys otherwise thank you very much for watching catch you on the next one